California's high Sierras, the streamliner city of San Francisco from Chicago, San Francisco bound, lies stalled by snow which piles up in drifts 25 feet deep. A railroad rotary plow which tried to clear a path stalls too, and for three days and nights, the train's 222 passengers and crew members are marooned. A Warner Pathé News cameraman is the first newsreel man on the scene. For the last two days, the train was unheated. But in Colfax, 34 miles away, nurses and other rescue workers board a relief train which sets out for the snowbound luxury train. These scenes give an idea of the depth of the snow blown into drifts by 100-mile gales shrieking through the lofty mountain pass. Nyack Lodge, six miles away, is as close as the relief train gets to the snowbound city of San Francisco. From the stall train, the weary passengers go on foot to U.S. Highway 40, now cleared by road crews. They are taken in trucks and cars five miles down the highway to the lodge. Among the passengers on the streamliner, 60 were overcome by gas fumes while the train was stalled. Though some have to be carried on stretchers, most recovered quickly. There's a hot meal before boarding the relief train. They'll take a memory with them of surviving California's worst blizzard in 50 years. 